Are you preparing for PG medical entrance, MBBS exams, USMLE? Oh, we know the challenge of revision of 19 medical subjects. OnlineMBBS.com helps your exam preparation. Are you a PHC doctor working in a remote village? Are you in a remote place with no internet? Are you a busy house surgeon in hospital wards with night duties? Do you not have time to attend crowded weekend face-to-face classes? Do you want teacher-delivered lectures that can be repeatedly accessed? If the mountain won't come to Muhammad, then Muhammad must go to the mountain. The best medical teachers from Delhi, Bangalore, Chennai, and Hyderabad delivered live lecture videos with hundreds of AIP GMEE aspirants and are now available on DVDs. The 600 hours of HD video lectures covering all 19 medical subjects are available as a 23 DVD set. Intricate concepts, flow charts, mnemonics, high yield MCQs. Topic wise theory is reviewed covering all 19 subjects in medical school. Now, your preparation for MBBS exams, PG medical entrance, and USMLE preparation is very easy. Order this 23 DVD set today. Plug and play and top PG medical entrance exam. Watch sample video lectures on youtube.com slash online MBBS. Call 09000-868-356-0950-5948391 for good discount. Visit www.onlinembbs.com, India's number one online PG medical coaching. Are you preparing for PG medical entrance? Are you preparing for MBBS exams? Do you want to be in the top 100 ranks in AIPGMEE and PG medical entrance? OnlineMBBS.com is India's number one online PG medical entrance coaching. Sit at home and attend every day. Live online interactive lectures from the best medical teachers on your laptop. Attend an online video library of 1,400 hours of lectures on 3,000 topics. If you have no internet, then 600 hours of video lectures covering 19 subjects are available on DVDs. Every Saturday, take a subject-wise test for 26 weeks and attend live discussion. Every Sunday, take a grand test and live discussion and get all India ranking. You need inspiration from live teachers in face-to-face classes. OnlineMBBS.com conducts face-to-face live classes in 52 cities across India. 180 hours live face-to-face class in 15 weekends plus one-year online video library access. Medicine, five weekends plus surgery, three weekends plus genobes, three weekends, plus ortho, two weekends, plus pediatrics, two weekends. Passionate medical teachers fly to the centers and teach to inspire your preparation. Visit www.onlinembbs.com and top AIPGMEE today. I'll come back to that question. Then, right to fourth nerve palsy. Once more, earlier question, evisceration, enucleation, the indications, everything is also another very stock question. Right to fourth nerve palsy. What are the consequences of right to fourth nerve palsy? What is fourth nerve? Trochlear. Whenever trochlear gets affected, there is a development of a persistent extortion in the paretic eye. And also there is a development of a head tilt and there is a development of a diplopia. So head tilt is basically to overcome the diplopia and along with the head tilt what will be done to the chin by the patient to overcome extortion? There will be chin out along with the head tilt is what happens in the case of the uh, trochlear nerve injury is what you need to remember. Now doctor. Where do you see lymphatic spread? A itna basic question hai ki agar isko bhi wrong kare to you are not ready for this one. Another six months. 
papillary carcinoma classically is samoma bodies, lymphatic spread, etc., etc. This is another very standard topic expected. Covenant's classification of uh, functional division of the liver and the surgical anatomy of the liver. Fundamentally, how many segments into which liver had been divided? Eight segments. Why eight segments? What is the basis of it? They are the branches of the portal vein and hepat and bile duct, not hepatic vein. Portal vein and bile duct. That is the reason the answer becomes A, because it is not portal vein and hepatic vein. It is the portal vein and bile duct based on which they have been divided. You have got 1, 2, 3, 4, etc., etc., as what you can see here. <coughs> then once more. It is also being divided into three major fissures which you cannot see in the gross appearance of the liver and three minor fissures which you can see in the gross appearance of the liver. So, the major fissures, they harbor the three main hepatic veins, main left and right portal fissures they are called. Three minor fissures, they are the ones which are because of the umbilical fissure, venous fissure and fissure of GANs. Then, if you look into sectors, like Chandigarh, the city of Chandigarh is divided into sectors, segments, lanes, right? Like that, liver is divided into four portal sectors, is what you need to remember. Now, doctor, inguinal hernia may, you have put a mesh, you have put a mesh, and uh, post-operatively, there is a pain along the medial aspect of the thigh. You have a good voice or break, broken voice? Fine? Okay. Medial aspect of the thigh. Then what is the nerve which is being affected? ilio inguinal nerve is the one which is uh, typically, basically medial aspect of thigh is two nerves. Anterior femoral cutaneous nerve of the thigh and other is Ilioinguinal nerve. So, because the pain after doing the procedure is radiating to the medial aspect of the thigh, ilioinguinal is the most likelihood, is what you need to understand. In fact, most common nerve injury and the pain that you suffer after mesh repair of inguinal hernia is the ilioinguinal nerve, followed by iliohypogastric nerve, followed by genital branch of genitofemoral nerve. And least by lateral femoral cutaneous nerve. That is what you need to appreciate. <coughs> this is a very good question. Without breast carcinoma, there is no paper. There is a bloody nipple discharge, 60 year old lady who has a family history of breast cancer. What is your possible answer? Some of you are be going to be shortly top consultants. Uh, what is your answer, doctor? Huh? Here, if you use common sense, you will fail because uh, there are definite recommendations for everything. Uh, what is your answer? MRA. What else? What else? Huh? Question was there first investigation. Very good. Rupam from Calcutta is adding a little more adjective to the question. First investigation was there? Our best is there? Our next is there? Entrance is, there is an entrance jargon and uh, language also. Huh. First is there. Mammography is the one which is indicated at the first investigation. Because if you do nipple discharge cytology, it is like going to Pacific Ocean and waiting for catching a fish. Agar nipple discharge ko liye to usme malignant cell ho sakta ya nahi ho sakta. If it is there, you caught the fish. But if you did not catch the fish, you cannot say C does not have fish at all. That is the problem with your net, fish net. So, cytology is also like that. So, that is the reason, doctor, mammography is the best initial investigation that you can offer to this lady as a standard initial imaging examination 
which can show micro calcification or any other sign of the malignancy you need to look for. Then doctor, Mallory Miss syndrome, which vessel get ruptured? Mallory Miss is along the lower part of the esophagus. What is the blood flow? Blood supply of the lesser curvature of stomach and the lower part of the esophagus, it is the left gastric artery, which is the predominant blood supply is what you need to remember. What decides the prognosis of esophageal cancer? Esophageal cancer is also in the top 30 topics in your high yield topic list in surgery. TNM staging, if it is given, TNM was given or not? Given or not? Haan. Agar TNM diye to, TNM stage 4 hai to 0% 5 year survival sadha. Aur uh, TNM stage 3 hai to, 15%. So, T stage has got a lot of uh, importance in deciding the ultimate prognosis. Where is screening not useful? Testicular cancer. By common sense, this becomes the answer. Which is not a high output cardiac failure? Once more, cardiac failure is a high yield topic. So, AV fistula, not malformation. AV fistula, beriberi, anemia, thyrotoxicosis, Pager's disease, they are all the classical examples of high output failure but not core pulmonale. Core pulmonale may right ventricular failure is there because of a pulmonary hypertension. Vaha, heart ka pumping action get affected. Whenever right ventricle fails, what happens? What is the treatment of a right ventricular failure? But, but doctor, diuretic dete ya IV fluids dete? IV fluids, is heart mein ek line dalo, us heart mein ek line dalo, or like uh, Ganga, Bhagiradi, Yamuna, you have to run the fluids so that you will increase the pump action of the heart by increasing preload. That is always the treatment of a right ventricular failure. Whenever left ventricle fails, patient will be in pulmonary edema. Diuretic is the treatment of choice, which you should not basically forget. Hypertensive hemorrhage, another very standard question. Typically, is found in basal ganglia, most commonly putamen, etc., etc. Multiple clotting factors ka deficiency hai, not single clotting factor. Then, fresh frozen plasma is like fruit ka sherbat. Isme grape hai, mixed fruit sherbat. You have all clotting factors inside it. So, what are the clotting factors? Factor 2, factor 5, 7, 9, 10, 11. All are there in the FFP. That is the reason you will give FFP. When will you do cryoprecipitate? Mainly plasma fibrinogen ka deficiency hai to. Like hypofibrinogenemia is the scenario where cryoprecipitate is specifically indicated is what you need to remember. Pulmonary hypertension. Medicine ke high yield topic list mein which number it is doctor? It will be definitely there in the top 20 topics. Huh? Light is not there to see. I am telling na. Whenever we teach cardiology, we teach only how many topics? 16 topics teach karte. Right? 16 topics teach karne ke liye, padne ke liye, you require hardly about 7 or 8 hours. Usse jada agar cardiology pad rahe to, you will end up to become MD physiology and you have to practice hypertension control by starting a clinic. And satisfy yourself, I read lot of cardiology, so I did not do cardiology anyway, I am treating hypertension. You have to justify. Okay, so that is the reason, doctor. 16 topics, 8 hours. One of them is pulmonary hypertension. Best mark sign, Hampton's hump. When will you do thrombolytic in S1, Q3, T3 on ECG in pulmonary embolism? All these things you have to iron out. Bosentan is the one endothelin receptor antagonist. Is considered to be the drug of choice in pulmonary hypertension. Same question was in NIMSET 2015, last before week. Only names changed, but the same wedding card. One more life liquidated. So also, Highest number of questions in nephrology or pathology mein kya hota hai doctor? Glomerulonephritis. Agar iske bina question paper hai to puchho mujhse. 
So, 130 topics are very predictable. So, it is a membranous nephropathy. Any elderly person, whenever he comes with nephrotic syndrome, doctor, generally underlying cause kya hota hai? Diabetic nephropathy ke wajay se, people will have nephrotic syndrome generally. Magar diabetic nahi hai wo. He had a significant weight loss. Or he has presented with uh, nephrotic syndrome. Then that is an indication for renal biopsy and on renal biopsy you found the presence of the membranous nephropathy. Whenever membranous nephropathy is there with nephrotic syndrome in an elderly person with a history of weight loss, if you have not done a thorough evaluation of any internal malignancy, you have to do CT abdomen, you have to do CT of the thorax, you should look where are those lymph nodes, where is that lymphoma. Generally, lymphoreticular malignancies will lead to development of membranous nephropathy and nephrotic syndrome is what you have to fundamentally remember. Which is not Duke's criteria. Infective endothelitis will be among the top 14 topics in cardiology which you have to go thoroughly before going to exam. Osler node. Osler node. Is it painful or non-painful? Painful hota hai. Janeway's lesions, painful or not painful? So these are all the important issues which you have to be sure. And which organism endocarditis may kaali penicillin diye to kaam nahi chalega? Penicillin ke saath aminoglycoside bhi dena padta. Enterococcal endocarditis may you have to give both of them. And what are the classical causes of the culture negative endocarditis doctor? Hesse group of organisms is what uh, everything around 10 to 12 points. Splenomegaly is not the part of the criteria. Positive blood culture, ecome vegetations, predisposing conditions like IV drug abuse, presence of the fever, the most consistent clinical finding of infective endocarditis is fever. Agar fever nahi hai to, infective endocarditis nahi hoga. If fever is not the presenting feature, if you diagnose, if you are thinking of infected endocarditis, means you are wrongly thinking. But all fevers are not infected endocarditis. So, which of this cannot cause a reduced DLCO? Diffusion capacity of the carbon monoxide. Beautiful question. Anyway, we don't have the board availability now. See, doctor, alveolus is there, no? Capillaries are dating the alveoli. Carbon monoxide which is there in the alveoli has to diffuse into capillary, alveolar capillary. That ability to diffuse is called as DLCO, diffusing capacity of the carbon monoxide. What will happen if there is an emphysema? Emphysema may alveoli will become destroyed. That is the reason carbon monoxide doesn't reach at all to enter into capillaries because alveoli are destroyed in emphysema. If I have board, I can explain better, but you just need to imagine in this dark cover. Okay. So that is the reason DLC work kya ho jata emphysema hai to kam hota ya badega. It will decrease. Because alveoli are destroyed in emphysema, carbon monoxide, amount of carbon monoxide reaching capillaries also got decreased. Okay. Now, if a patient is having alveolar hemorrhage, kya ho jata? Between alveoli and the capillary, there is a bleed. In that bleed, there is a hemoglobin. And it, and it will attract the carbon monoxide. That's why then DLC will become increased in, in case of Alveolar hemorrhage. Fibrosis may kya hota bolo? It will decrease. Now what happens in asthma? In asthma may, there is a pulmonary congestion. So increased blood flow will be there to alveoli. That is the reason there is more uptake of carbon monoxide. So that is the reason DLC will become increased in asthma. Asthma bhi obstructive lung disease hai. Emphysema bhi obstructive lung disease hai. Ye these jo aap sun rahe hai, wo bronchitis and emphysema ke wajay se, ya asthma ke wajay se. Khai se differentiate kar sakte hai hum, DLC wo beke to, DLC wo kam ho ge to wo kya hota? Emphysema hota, DLC wo bade to wo kya hota? Asthma hota. 
So both of them are obstructive lung disease. Favorite question of the examiner. Many times asked in the previous exams. So there is a reason. Asthma will not cause reduced DLCO is what need to understand. Which is not an autoimmune disorder. All the four are autoimmune disorders that what our pathology teacher told. Later on after MBBS you have done MD, MDK but DM, DM may rheumatology kiya. So, you thought Graves, rheumatoid arthritis, SLE, all these things I can treat. Ulcerative colitis, gastroenterologists are treating, no? Let us start to call them as non-autoimmune condition. So, later on, lot of studies have proven that ulcerative colitis is not always an autoimmune phenomena is what uh, has been implicated. So, that's the reason ulcerative colitis is a better option out of all this. Then doctor, there are recurrent abortions between 14 to 16 weeks. 14 to 16 weeks is called mid trimester or uh, first trimester? Mid trimester. Mid trimester abortions ka kya karan hota hai? Antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, syphilis like infections, etc. etc. But uh, chromosomal abnormalities of the fetus will lead to abortion in the first trimester. Is there no need of doing fetal cardiotype for a mid trimester abortions? Is what you need to basically remember. Triple swab test. The dye is found on the topmost swab. What is your diagnosis? Beautiful question. But I don't have a privilege of uh, using the whiteboard because there is no power. Just please follow up this uh, illustration which will help. This is the bladder doctor. From bladder you are getting urethra and this is vagina. <coughs> now you have kept three swabs into vagina. Okay. The lower most swab is not important. The first two swabs they go. Now you have filled a dye into the bladder. Bladder. Okay. Now what happened? Suppose between the bladder and the vagina, what is the type of fistula it is called as? Visico-vaginal fistula bolte hai unko. A colored dye kis mein aap chalaya? Bladder ke andar chalaya. Agar wo colored dye aake, if it happened to color the uppermost swab, what does it indicate? There is a Visico-vaginal fistula. Suppose, if there is a connection between ureter and the vagina, then what will happen? There is a wetting of the swab, but it is not wet by this colored dye. Rather, the urine which is coming into the ureter will go into the vagina. There is a wetting of the swab, but it is not colored with the dye. What is the type of fistula? Uretero-vaginal fistula. But if vagina and bladder are connected, what do you get? Colored dye into the swab is what you will basically get. Third situation. You got a colored dye which is wetting the lower swab, not upper swab. That means bladder may problem nahi hai, ureter may problem nahi hai, mother bladder se jo urethra nikla, urethra and the vagina have developed urethro vaginal fistula. Then the lower swab is the one which will pick up the dye. That is called the three swab test. Okay, doctor. Huh? So, is me kuch exam jane ke baad guess marne ke liye koshish kare to answer nahi milega. Exam jane ke pehle hi the various fistulas of the genital tract is a high yield topic in the top 30 topics in gynecology. Okay, doc. Now, proteinuria more than how many milligrams in a 24 hour sample suggests severe preeclampsia? 5000 was given or 3000 was given? Huh? Only 2000 was given. Huh? Maximum figure 20, 200, 2000, 4th of 5000 diya hoga. Idea. But anyway, what is the original uh, 
प्रिंसिपल इन द टेक्स्ट बुक सीवियर एक्लैम्स या प्री एक्लैम्स या बोलने के लिए एसबीपी मोर देन वन सिक्सटी डीबीपी मोर देन वन टेन एंड प्रोटीन यूरिया मोर देन फाइव ग्राम इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर कलेक्शन और मोर देन थ्री प्लस ऑन टू रैंडम सैंपल्स कलेक्टेड एटलीस्ट फोर आवर्स अपार्ट इज द डेफिनेशन टू कॉल इट एस सीवियर एंड सिमिलरली पलमरी एडिमा प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑलिग यूरिया थ्रामोसाइटोपीनिया एपीगैस्ट्रिक पेन परसिस्टेंट हेड एक्स लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स दिस क्वेश्चन ऑन एक्लेम्सिया हैड बीन आस्कड सिंस टाइम्स इन मेमोरियल After five days, अगर contraception emergency करना है तो none of the others like levonorgestrel, estrogen will not help. They all will help only in the first five days. The only option is you can interrupt the implantation, and that interruption can be done by placing the copper IUCD. Is what you have to basically remember. Okay? Any other option or okay? Clear? Ah, huh. that is very very important. A female football player yeah a female football player i'm very happy to see 45 plus online viewers and another 100 from all over centers online without need of coming to the classroom <coughs> one question doctor androgen insensitivity syndrome or congenital adrenal hyperplasia और पर्नल सिंड्रोम ये तीनों में एक के ऊपर जरूर आएगा एक क्वेश्चन विच यू शुड नॉट मिस वी आर वेरी पॉपुलर इन अवर मॉक टेस्ट विच वी कंडक्ट एवरी संडे वाई वी आर सो पॉपुलर बिकॉज एवरी टाइम वी यूज द सेम फॉर्म ऑफ वन थर्टी फिफ्टी प्लस वन थर्टी प्लस फिफ्टी प्लस ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी भगवान के हाथ में फिफ्टी सिचुएशन कॉमन सेंस एंड वन थर्टी स्टैंडर्ड टॉपिक्स If you score in our mock test at least 145 or 150 out of 200, if you still don't get seat, it is our responsibility. So that is the reason mock test that we conduct at the best and closest yardstick to what actually happens in exam. But ultimate secret is mastering these 700 topics. Now tell me, doctor, why in androgen hypersens? Uh, I mean, insensitivity syndrome. Do you have uh, uh, the presence of? Uh, <coughs> the presence of can you give me the board please um, breast development doctor androgen insensitivity syndrome is basically the problem of resistance to the testosterone action of for the testosterone receptor so if the testosterone cannot act on testosterone receptor it become peripherally aromatized and lead to the formation of estrogen originally their karyotype is what xy बदर मेल हो या फीमेल हो नर हो या नारी हो इस्टोजन है तो देर इज ए डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द ब्रेस्ट दट हाउ गाइनिको मैस्टर डेवलप इन मेन हू हैव लिवर फेल्यूर बिकॉज दे हैव ए स्टेट ऑफ हाइपर इस्टोजनिज्म देर इज अ रीजन दे डेवलप ब्रेस्ट बट सिंस टेस्टोस्टेरॉन इज नॉट देयर टेस्टिकला डिसेंट डजेंट अक्कर इट रिमेन्स इन द इंग्वाइनल केलॉल एंड प्रेजेंस लाइक एन इंग्वाइनल हेरनिया सो दट इज द रीजन this football player who has primary amenorrhea <coughs> primary amenorrhea with the breast development without pubic or axillary hair is a classical case of androgen insensitivity syndrome is what you need to remember okay doc pregnant hypertensive lady may drug contraindicated diya or which drug do you want to give diya both diya no no only one question two questions Two questions. One is what is indicated. What is other is other. What is country? So, so important is pregnancy and hypertension. You know, April is not given. Methyl dopa is the one which is preferred. Simple. Huh? So, I think uh, what should be the highest mark of the same paper? Any entrance you go, highest mark will be seventy-five to eighty percent. 200 मार्क्स वाले पेपर में 160 सिक्सटी हर एक आई मीन जो टॉपर बनते हैं उसको जरूर आता है द सीक्रेट इज वन थर्टी ऑफ वन थर्टी हियर रिमेनिंग फिफ्टी में ट्वेंटी फाइव वन फिफ्टी फाइव ट्वेंटी गॉड क्वेश्चन में टेन वन सिक्सटी फाइव फाइव खत्म यू गो यू बी द फर्स्ट टू वॉक इन काउंसिलिंग एंड लाइक स्वयं वरम यू पुट द गार्लैंड ऑन एमडी जनरल मेडिसिन एमडी रेडियोलॉजी 
एंड ऑल यूर फ्रेंड्स विल बी थिंकिंग इसको फर्स्ट रैंक आ गया ना मे बी आई डिड नॉट गेट बट ही गॉट बिकॉज ही हैज नो गर्ल फ्रेंड्स मे बी आई ऑल्सो हैव ए रिपोर्ट दैट ही हैज ऑलिगोस पर भैया रीडिंग रूम में बैठ के बैठ के पढ़ के पढ़ के ड्यू टू दैट ऑल हीट डिफेंस मैकेनिज्म आर गॉन एंड ऑल हिस ऑल यूर फ्रेंड्स विल बी डूइंग ए कैरेक्टर असोसिनेशन कैंपेन अगेंस्ट यू बट रियली डिड यू स्टडी टू दैट ऑलिगोस परमिक लेवल ऑफ धर्मोजेनिक रेस्पॉन्स इन द रीडिंग रूम नो डॉक्टर सेवन हंड्रेड टॉपिक्स टेन टॉपिक्स खत्म करो आईमैक्स थिएटर में मूवी देखो एनवे ट्वेंटी टॉपिक्स खत्म करो आईपीएल मैच देखो सेवन हंड्रेड टॉपिक्स यू कैन फिनिश प्रोवाइडेड यू नो वॉट टू रीड एंड एट एन अवर मॉक टेस्ट प्रोग्राम एंड ट्राई टू नो वेदर आर यू रीचिंग दैट वन सिक्सटी फाइव गोल्डन स्कोर आर नॉट दैट इज वॉट यू नीड टू डू Six weeks of pregnancy. What is the best way? Six weeks means already two weeks after expected date of uh, menstruation. So that is the reason HCG will be positive. But the doctor need at least eight to ten weeks for it to pick up. What were the any other options were there? Huh? A? Okay, I mean, is the concept same about the question? Huh? Safe and reliable test. None of the other, none of the tests given are unsafe. Ultrasound can it to fetus mar jayega? Doppler is? How can Doppler will be unsafe? It was given in. Oh, we have got like uh, Rajesh Khanna and Amita Bachchan. Mudit Khanna said that's the reason it is like this uh, kind of uh, dogmatic uh, this thing. But you tell, is there anywhere in the world who would say Doppler will produce teratogenesis or will the baby will shiver listening the Doppler sounds? Thermal effects will be there on the upcoming. Uh, implanted a uh, fertilized ovum uh, no doctor but anyway i think uh, hcg is reasonable fetal viability was there uh, oh viability means hcg doesn't apply but doctor is too early for this ultrasound me you can see the fetal pole fetal pole Around eight to ten, six weeks was there. Okay, but was it uh, okay? Anyway, uh, we'll uh, keep up this. What is the WHO criteria and the international semen standards uh, which are considered to be normal? But is the same question about the semen content? What is the WHO? See WHO ninety nine. 1999 में एक स्टैंडर्ड डिसाइड किया 2010 में इट डिस्कवर लॉट ऑफ पीपल आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यूएसएमएलई एंड पीजी एंट्रेंस उतना स्ट्रिक्ट स्टैंडर्ड्स लगाए तो शादी डॉट कॉम में किसी को भी मैच नहीं मिलेगा तो दैट इज द रीजन बेटर वी मेक इट ए लिटिल इजियर स्टैंडर्ड सो वॉट इज द न्यू स्टैंडर्ड एरियर टू एम एल इज ओके बट कंसिडरिंग सम अमाउंट ऑफ डिहाइड्रेशन इन ट्रॉपिकल कंट्रीज 1.5 ml is considered to be double H for 2010 standard. Concentration 20 million earlier, but due to global environmental pollution, 15 million will go. Progressive mortality 50 percent, that to dancing sperms. But later on 32 percent, if uh, uh, rap music ko dance kare to bhi will go. Normal forms 14 percent, but after reading the 19 subjects, 14 percent. कहाँ मिलेगा? 4 percent है तो भी चलेगा. So there is a new standards which you need to be quite sure. But every infertility is what number topic, doctor? High yield topic list में देखो. Gynops में sixth or seventh होगा जरूर. Without a question on infertility, PC body, there will be no paper. Which drug is not given in PC body? Actually, all those three are given. 
we give OCPs, we give tamoxifen, we also give clomiphene. Fourth option may be something that should be the answer. Metformin was there. Now, what did it? Tamoxifen is also considered to be equally good like clomiphene. In fact, some studies say tamoxifen is better than clomiphene. Both of them are basically acting on estrogen receptors. Patient came for the treatment of infantility. Hence, we want a ovulating, ovulation induction drug. Ah, then in that case, why will you give OCPs basically in PCOD? Mainly for their anti-androgenic action to treat hirsutism. So maybe examiner may be having in his thought process of OCP as the possible answer. Maybe. Huh? I don't know. Then, signal ring cell is one. Krukenberg. Without one ovarian cancer paper hota kya? Nahi hoga. Then, uh, Perhaps in intervertebral disc ko treat karne ke liye, what will you do? You will do laminotomy, laminectomy, hemilaminectomy, but generally laminoplasty, where we alter the space inside the intervertebral space. Kaha karte? Spinal stenosis mein karte. Not in treatment of IV disc removal is what you need to appreciate in this question. Then Dunlop traction is used for Supracondylar fracture of the humerus. Is this question also there or same question? So we use obviously Dunlop for what? Supracondylar, now which is upper limb. Gallo and Briant are for the fracture of the shaft of the femur. Huh? Then Shenton's line, which is altered in the congenital dislocation of the hip joint, is typically seen in pelvis. For a early stress fracture, what is the best test that you can do, doctor? MRI. Then, uh, earlier they used to do isotope scanning, but later on they have found MRI is much superior than isotope scan. 3 plus proteinuria, no RBC cause, nephrotic syndrome in a child. What is the answer? Minimal change disease. So that means how many questions in glomerulonephritis topic? Two questions totally. Very high yielding topic. Infant diarrhea may what will you give ORS? Is a one. Once more, PGM a question will come. Low osmolarity ORS constituents, how will they differ from the regular wala ORS? What is risomal? Everything you have to read, doctor. Daycare anesthesia is propofol. Very standard question. Yeah? What then? Propofol was given, midazolam was also. Oh, propofol plus midazolam, like that was given. Eh? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, anyway, we will, we will re-look re at the uh, frame of the question. Agar liver disease hai, renal disease hai, what drug is preferable, doctor? The one which is not being metabolized by either of them. And that becomes atracurium, which is eliminated by the non-enzymatic Hoffman's degradation. Appendicitis, but you may kaise investigate karte? CT or ultrasound? CT has radiation. That is the reason the initial investigation preferred is ultrasound. So the sensitivity is relatively uh, much higher with CT. Huh? That is the point. Heart muscle viability, we do the PET scanning. FDG PET is the one which you have to do. Then, um, what is not a part of catatonia? Catato what is the most common type of schizophrenia, doctor? Of all schizophrenias? Catatonic schizophrenia. What is the schizophrenia which has the worst prognosis? Heavy phrenic schizophrenia. What is the schizophrenia that has the earliest onset? Clinical onset? Heavy phrenic schizophrenia. That is the reason it has a poor prognosis. And what is the feature of uh, the schizophrenia that gets treated earliest if you start the antipsychotic treatment. Which clinical feature? Auditory hallucinations are the ones which are the first to resolve if you start the treatment is what you need to remember. Ecatasia is not a part of catatonia. What is in the ecatasia? Continuous restlessness. 
If you go to reading room, some people will be sitting and continuously waving their leg with the music in the ear. You feel uh, exhausted to watch them uncontrollably moving their uh, lower limbs. On the other side of the bench, you will find completely echinitic, rigid, constipated face of a Parkinsonian classmate. And on the top of it, you are already suffering autistic nature, unable to understand what is there in the MCQs. And one hyperkinetic uh, attention deficit friend of you will come and ask, will go for tea. That is, uh, if you want to revise psychiatry, best place is in reading room. You will find all personality disorders. Reading room only. One fellow will be reading Harrison, narcissistic personality disorder. One fellow will be underlining and spoiling the entire book, like the suicidal cuts, borderline personality disorder. One, one will be saying that, if you come at 9, I will come at 9. If you come at 12, I will come at 12. If you get up for toilet, I will also get up for toilet. So that is a complete dependent personality disorder. So, you will have she joined, she the people, everything reading room everything. Huh? And uh, why do you come for our mock tests and coaching program? Another opportunity to see other, our other psychiatric friends, how are they responding to the same stress? Huh? So, what is the best behavioral therapy of the obsessive compulsive disorder doctor? Cognitive behavioral therapy is the best one. And where will you use systemic desensitization? Phobia may systemic desensitization. Also, exposure and response prevention. Phobia asked me. Shy avoidant symptoms come under which cluster of? Shy and avoidant personalities come under? B. Type B. Cluster A means who, doctor? Paranoid. He will be thinking, everybody is thinking about him only. They are going to steal his hall ticket. They are going to read his underlined sentences. So he won't even underline. Paranoid. Then the other is schizoid. He is too shyful to make friends. So schizoid, schizotypal. They are all cluster A. Then cluster B may you have antisocial friends who will be bullying you on the school bus. Then uh, borderline guys. What is borderline? Ambivalence is the nature of the borderline people. They will see people as very good people or bad people. You are either good or bad. Today you will be good, tomorrow you can become bad for me. So their social interaction will be very poor. And they will stand before the hostel and say, if you don't love, I will cut my hand and I am going to die. Are these people at risk of suicide? Borderline people. No. But unfortunately, while trying to threaten others with the suicidal attempt, someday they will die. There is a difference between why she joined personality people versus borderline. Borderline don't die because of a suicidal tendency. In the drama of doing suicide, they will die un accidentally. Because none of the friends are coming to rescue them. There is she joined personality people who can't make friends they are really succumbed to the suicidal tendency is what you need to appreciate. One question on personality disorders, schizophrenia, mania, definitely 5 out of 5 you can score doctor if you read uh, psychiatry. Overwhelming sense of responsibility and uncertainty or the classical nature of the obsessive compulsive disorder is what need to be remembered. Then what is the key symptom of alcohol withdrawal? His answer I could not find because all these are the known symptoms I was trying. Huh? This question is there or not? There, but uh, what is the fourth one? Tremor was there. Tremor is here, no? I'm, I'm not very sure to emphatically give you an answer whether uh, tremor can be called key or not. This is the story, doctor, about uh, questions. If you read, what? You can answer. 100% correct answers they said if you are a good student. Where is the next PPT?
now doctor there are seven questions impossible numerical values which are not if you are lucky you will answer let us see them in aims by 2015 under criminal law amendment act 2013 what is the new age for the consent for a sexual intercourse now it has been changed to 18 years 18 years after the nirbhaya case they made a parliamentary act and made it 18 years x find gunshot on y y escaped from injury but the bullet grazed the thigh of the y then he is punishable under which ipc if you are too good a student also you don't get seat few times you should participate in strikes you must be arrested then only you can remember few sections of law 324 what is 324 section causing hurt by a dangerous weapon or a means is basically under criminal procedure code 324 that can be shooting stabbing cutting or asking rare mcqs in the final examination movement and disturbing the peace of your friends so that is all come under 324 then what is 304 304 taking your friend for a cup of tea telling him that uh, chalo let's have a little preparation in the reading room and after going to the tea you sponsoring the tea and then asking him 10 questions for which nine he did not answer that comes under culpable homicide not amounting to murder okay so that is 304 okay then whenever a pregnant female is there the crime was done by her not by the baby inside her womb so if you want to hang her as a capital punishment hang her after the delivery so that comes under 416 of the criminal procedure code impossible questions hai aur aise questions mein bhi agar aapke lottery aur andaz ki pariksha ke liye lagaye to it is like dharmaraj giving draupadi uske baad bhima aapke baad arjun ke jaise you will lose all your other possible marks in a negative marking exam luckily it is not there in ap lower two parts of the sternum when will they fuse if you know that also next exam mein they will ask when will acetabulum will bind with pubic bone how many will you remember okay this is so called standard question in the previous exams 14 years body body and body and zygoid body of the sternum is there any alternative answer proposed 14 years is uh, the standard uh, answer for the sternal fusion anyway we will check if uh, lower two parts of the body of the sternum is there in a different age in size should wound is there new collagen is forming what age epithelialization will occur who will remember such a finest detail about wound healing actually within hours kya hota within days kya hota within months kya hota within weeks kya hota wound healing mein ek time table hai usme 4 to 7 days is the time where epithelialization will be maximum that is the point examiner want to ask in the form of a numeric what is the dose of dexamethasone in prematurity for closure of the i mean uh, uh, in the prematurity that you want to basically give the dexamethasone simple question i'll ask you dexamethasone tak kyon jana agar kisi regularly steroid le rahe unka adrenal suppression ho gaye hypertension mein aa gaye aapke aap house surgeon hai what will you give doctor hydrocortisone how many milligrams hydrocortisone will you give huh 100 milligrams that is more reasonable question which you are regularly giving 
But giving dexamethasone in prematurity means uh, that is not a too much of practice question. But anyway, two doses, 12 mg, 24 hour apart, or dexamethasone 6 mg intramuscularly, four doses, 12 hourly, is another regime which is available. Okay? But if you didn't answer this, kuch bhi nahi hua. Nothing will happen. Still, you will be in the top uh, 10 ranks. Provided that 130 questions you answered thoroughly. Okay, doc. Patient ko thrombocytopenia hai. Unko electro surgery ke liye post karne ke liye kitna platelet count aap bada ke rakna hai. If you give one uh, plasma rich product, PRP, kitna platelets bade ka doctor? Count. With every PRP administration, how much platelet will increase? 10,000. Very good. That means minimum 50,000 is the count. 50,000 is the count which is required for you to post the patient for a elective surgery. This is also purely numerical and situational common sense. Preparation se aane wale answer nahi hai. So that the seven numericals in the AIMS 2015. Now let us go to what are those 50 questions where common sense, situationally you need to use the brain and answer. Where is the not in judicial hanging applied? So at least you should remember the TV show where you have seen one judicial hanging or uh, then you will uh, understand. It is typically the side of the neck, typically on the left side below the auricle is the place where you will apply the knot. Rat hole injury. Whenever there is a gunshot wound, the wound of entry will be irregular, ragged margins like a rat hole. So, gunshot injury is the... But still, you can answer this question. Why? Because forensic ke top 20 high yield topics may ek gunshot injury question expected hai. Oh, nahi hai to, yaha hona hai options mein. So, that is the reason if you know the topic list also, you can answer. There is a blast near Delhi killing two people. What is not true about it? Injuries can occur due to burns or aid blasts. Force of explosion will decrease rapidly and it is directional in nature. There are all the true statements except the option D. What is that segmented blood? In the retinal blood vessels, what is that sign called as? So the changes from the eye in the post-mortem period was a very standard uh, topic. Eh? But still, this is not something that you can answer just like that. It is like a, a quiz question. So basically, it is called Kevorkian sign is what you need to remember. There are microvilli absent. What is called work horse of the kidney doctor, glomerulus mein? Proximal tubule hai, distal tubule hai, limb of loop of Henle hai, in sare cheezo mein, kisko aap work horse of the kidney, jaha jada tar kaam chalta hai? Proximal convoluted tubule. That's the reason if you look at histology, you find lot of mitochondria, because it requires lot of ATP, because it is the place where all reabsorption occur. That is the reason it will have microvilli. But collecting duct is not like that. So, you don't have microvilli in the collecting duct, whereas in the case of the uh, proximal convoluted tubule, definitely you have. Brown fat is everywhere except. Easily you will remember subcutaneous fat and scapula, interscapular area in the newborn baby. But to guess whether it is adrenal or blood vessel is the answer is the challenge. Pheochromocytomas arise from where? Adrenal. And this is the brown fat dikhai deta, histology. Mein. So, there is a reason answer should be blood vessels. Reticular fibers of collagen tissue. This is also not a straight easy question that anybody can answer. It looks simple but uh, not in the traditional uh, topic list of 130 questions. Typically, you find uh, Reticular collagen fibers in the lymph lymphoid organs like bone marrow, spleen, lymph node, but not in uh, spleen, uh, but not in uh, thymus. What type of collagen will be there in this reticular collagen fibers? I mean, uh, reticular fibers type 3 is the type of collagen which you have. Okay, doctor. 
there are uh, still another 70 questions left for discussion i could not get time to prepare actually so uh, if chance is there during the weekend we will have uh, a short session to finish or otherwise you will come on friday i mean tuesday for uh, next to tuesday for pgi pgi is very big 250 questions are there us martabe khatam karenge we will finish the leftover questions in that hmm? thanks for patient listening and um, i wish that the next dnb november aims pgi jipma already the bells are ringing with uh, the may in place next 6 months you need to prepare with the only dream that you are going to only achieve nobody else in the world hmm? thank you doctor